So this question is from Sharma and she wants to know if negative thoughts affect pregnancy after she's been on the fertility journey. Hey there, welcome to Ask the Fertility Experts, a daily Q&A show where we'll be answering your fertility questions. I'm Sarah Clark, founder of Fab Fertile. We specialize in low AMH, high FSH, diminished ovarian reserve, and premature ovarian insufficiency or failure. I will be joined by Dr. Tabitha Barber. She is triple board certified in obstetrics, gynecology, menopause, and functional medicine. If you have a question, simply go to Fab Fertile Inc. on Instagram, leave me a DM and drop your question there. And we will answer your question on an upcoming show. That's Fab Fertile Inc. on Instagram. So this question is from Sharma and she wants to know if negative thoughts affect pregnancy after she's been on the fertility journey. So this is one where, um, you know, many people like going through years of um, being on the fertility journey and then finally getting pregnant can be obviously we're excited, but then also that in itself can be very stressful because there's potential worry of loss or, you know, yeah, of loss, will it work? And those negative thoughts can be stuck on that, on that loop. Um, that's what we really help to, to, you know, to reframe your thoughts and be able to know that it's completely normal that you would, you would have these thoughts to begin with because you've been through, you know, however long the journey has been to, to, to get you here. And sometimes people even, even after they've had their child after fertility journey, they can still feel the effects of that trauma. Um, what's your take on that, Dr. Tabitha? No, oh, I couldn't agree more. That is a very common thing to happen is that you have worked so hard to get this pregnancy and you don't want anything to go wrong, you know, and rightly so. So that worry and those fears come up and it's super imperative that you change your thought processes because thoughts are just thoughts. You, they come and they go and they can control your emotions and affect your behaviors, but you don't have to believe them. They're not always true. So that's the big one is just because you have a thought doesn't make it true. And so if you get some tools to figure out how to intervene and be more mindful with your thoughts and shift how you're thinking, you can, uh, you know, get rid of that fear and that anxiety, or at least bring it to a level that isn't affecting you physically, because we do know our thoughts can affect us physically. We release chemical messengers that cause inflammation when we have chronic negative thoughts. It's, you know, research has proven that time and time again. I want women to be reassured that their baby is most likely going to be fine. You know, I, when I had my son, I was the chief resident um, and life was insane and stressful. And I cried and I screamed a few times because I was in a surgical residency that was in a male dominated program. And I worried so much that I was going to ruin my child. You know what? And he came out the happiest baby I've ever met and so sweet and loving, but it did wreak havoc on my health and my body. So there was effects. Um, but I would just encourage women to like get control of that, start doing guided meditation, you know, really learn how to become mindful of your thoughts so that you can intervene and change the thoughts that you're having. Yeah. Many times we push them down, say we're fine. And it's like, it's, it's hard to bring it up, but actually that's how you can work through it to, to talk about it with someone that you trust and be able to, to work through the emotions. And definitely you can uh, go to fabfertile.com and there's a resource section in there. I have a number of some of our, our favorite uh, visualizations that you can check out. So love it. Thanks so much for being here. If you've got a question that you want answered, simply go to Fab Fertile Inc. on Instagram, send me a DM, and we will answer your question on an upcoming show. That's Fab Fertile Inc. and send me a DM. And please refer to our disclaimer below. Take care.